sorry. Uh, we did Harvey from uh, um, uh, the uh, magazine Point for in Paris. Uh, just a clarification, I would like to ask the, uh, the lady from, uh, from Ireland, uh, what's the reason why, if I understood correctly, you are against meters uh, for water? Just in relation to the, the metering, firstly, the Water Framework Directive does not require um, that the charges for water, the full cost recovery is done uh, on consumption basis. So they have clarified that in questions we sent to them. Um, in Ireland, we didn't have metering. We pay for water through general taxation, and that is then distributed to the local authorities to manage the water source. So it's the most progressive form of paying for water because it's based on your ability to pay. In relation to the consumption of water in Ireland, we use 20% less than the OECD average, so the meters are unnecessary. It's not about reducing consumption. If you want to use meters at a district level, which is about detecting leaks, then that makes sense um, because, of course, it helps you to identify leaks. If you put metering on every household, the most recent uh, research project with, which looked at it on an international basis, I don't have the, the college, to, uh, the, the author to hand, um, shows that the cost of maintaining the meters, of managing a billing system related to the meters, does not actually pay for itself. In fact, it costs money, so it adds to the full cost recovery, which the, the European Commission is asking member states to apply. Um, and it does not reduce the consumption of water. So where you have the most universal metering systems, the countries that have full saturation of meters actually have the highest consumption of water per household, whereas those countries that have lower metering or none in the case of Ireland actually have lower consumption. So the linkage of meters and consumption is not, it's not based on fact. And it is my belief if you're doing it on a household basis as opposed to on a district basis, it's about commodifying the water. And if you commodify it, then it's facilitating the privatization in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, did I understand correctly? Uh, if you have meter, then you are, that you are taxed, as we are in France, for instance, on our consumption per household. And, uh, but you are suggesting that, they, uh, that you pay for the, for the water on another system, part of your taxes. And, uh, but what if uh, my neighbor, you know, consumes uh, and he water his garden uh, uh, three times a day and, uh, and he also takes uh, 100 showers uh, a day and uh, if I am a little bit more reasonable, I would feel that, uh, you know, why do I have to pay for his overconsumptions where I, I, am, I am more reasonable? It, uh, how do you... Just very briefly, decide? this is always the, the touted story. As I said, on average, the uh, and households in Ireland were 20% below the OECD average. It's a myth that people are spending half an hour in the shower or excessively using water. It's the, the vast majority of water is used in agriculture and industry, and they are not covering the full cost recovery. So it, it, is, it doesn't stack up that by installing meters, you incentivize people to reduce water. What does work is education programs and going into schools and teaching people about the importance of water and conserving it. And we do that in Ireland through a green flag system in the schools. And it's obviously working because we don't waste water in Ireland. We have a lower consumption than those countries that have meters. Mm -hmm. 